Well, a good morning to you guys out there in the view of us today, Captain of the Steves. And today, Charles, for you guys, I'm playing a little bit of No Man's Sky, as you can probably tell. Oh, look, the hood has just taken off. Great, my view just improved. Anyhow, people, we're going to be heading over to the Quicksilver Merchant Johnny Five. I call him Johnny Five. I mean, yes, is a Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. Freaking mouthful of that, people. So anyway, let's head on over to go and see the Quicksilver Companion. I got him Johnny Five because it looks like the robot from Short Circuit. Hello there, Johnny Five. What have you got for us today? Brilliant. And yes, we can now buy this hologram frigate. It's one thousand five hundred Quicksilver in real quicksilver coinage boom we now own that people we've still got left the holographic starship the hologram multi-tool and the hologram system we've got three more to unlock people inside the view of us now the first one went extremely quick this second one has gone extremely slow so your guess is as good as mine as how quickly these are going to unlock now i've got a theory as to why they're sort of going a little bit slower mainly because i don't think anybody bloody wants them because when you actually highlight them and use them nobody else can see the dang thing even though i can see it as clear as day right now in the palm of my hand right there yeah, nobody else can see it. It's um, a little bit strange. Anyway, I need to grab us. I need to grab myself a little screenshot of that. Boom, and uh, I'll put that on the old Twitterverse. There we go. Put that on the Twitterverse. So I can use that as a thumbnail. People inside the viewerverse, don't follow me on Twitter. Please do. It's it's still Captain Steve, but you have to put an N in front, like for No Man's Sky. Let's see if it's still got that bug with this one as well. So it's definitely got the bug with the, the actual blob emoji. But what you do is, just as you go to highlight it, you, you start walking. And then, there we go. Yeah, look. It's still tricked out and bugged out, even with this emoji, people. You can actually run in this mode as well. Look, I can go super fast. You can even fly with your backpack if you come out of the menu. Look, no, no. <laughs> what, the, what the fudge? Okay. Now, I kind of, I kind of think I might as well leave this bug in because this one's quite a fun one. You know, why the fudge not? <laughs> Anyhow, how do you feel about that inside the universe? Do you see it as a bug or do you see it as a feature? I kind of see it as a as a bug, but it, it's not a game-breaking bug. It's quite a fun one, so I don't mind even if that does stay. I mean, we just did have an update the other day, but it didn't fix that, so maybe it is going to stay. Who freaking knows? Anyway, people, this is just a very quick video to let you guys know, in the view of us, that the actual emo emote is available for your, um, you know, purchase. Purchase, people inside the view of us. Yes. Uh, I have got a whole I did say about the theory on why I think it's going slow and yeah there's two parts to that one you can't see them in freaking multiplayer so what's the point in having it a bit like the capes to tell the truth but then the other part of this people is I was thinking maybe just maybe they're slowing them down on purpose because perhaps rather than put out part three of the ARG right about now in August where normally we get a summer update or something Perhaps they're holding off until, until the freaking, you know, autumn type time when it's Halloween. Because Halloween is kind of a little bit more fitting with all the void stuff and the realm of glass. And the way this is going, it's quite creepy. So I'm wondering whether it might be held off to Halloween. Now, what I don't get with this whole multiplayer thing is we can see NPCs using these things. I don't think it's a resource drain or anything, you know? I mean, yeah, I can see that as clear as day. Why can't we not see them inside of multiplayer? I'm hoping it's just a freaking tick in the box. Make this visible to all, yes or no, sort of flag. You know, but then again, I've been saying that about the freaking capes for how long? And the capes haven't come back into the verse, have they? Well, you can't see them in multiplayer. You can st stick a cape on, you can see it fine, but other players can't. Seems to be the same thing with the emoji. And look at this, I've got multiplayer right on at the moment, people. Network is on, it's enabled, and crossplay is enabled. There were players here earlier. They've all freaking vanished. Why have they all vanished? As soon as I popped that emote. Hold on, no, there's a couple of other ships here. There are a few other players nearby. Let's go back into network. Let's see your nearby players list. Yeah, there's a couple of other players right here, right now. Let's pop the emoji and let's see if it makes them disappear. Because that was a thing, wasn't it, with some of the pets. When you summon some of the pets in the olden days, sometimes it would disconnect. No, no, that's fine. That's not that that's done it. it. Just seems a bit weird. There was loads of people when I first joined here, peeps, weren't there? But now there's only a handful of people. 
Yeah, I don't see that player mark. Oh, there's one player marker over there. Don't know about the other one. Anyway, people, I've jibber-jabbered on long enough, but I'm wondering whether we might not see an update until we've unlocked all of those holographic emotes, peeps. Let us know in the view of us what you think. Is that a viable conclusion? Or do you think something is going to happen inside of August? I do know that it's on sale right now. No Man's Sky is on sale for Nintendo Switch players. At least that's what I saw the other day. Let me just uh, check the old tinterwebs and see if that's still a thing. No Man's Sky Switch. And let's just jump on over. I haven't checked on other platforms, but on Nintendo right now... Hold on. One second, people. Uh, 39.99. OK, so maybe not. Maybe it's not on sale inside of the UK. Somebody sent me a screenshot the other day showing that it was on sale. It was, um, it was a slight percentage off. But I think that might be full price. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, the sales have not started. The signs have not started. Normally, when there's going to be an update, you know, the Twitterverse sort of lights up a bit. Sean of the Murrays will be a little bit busier with his old tweets. He'll be tweeting out some stuff, tweeting out some pictures, building up a bit of hype, maybe even making the loose suggestions of what might be to come. But at the moment, none of that's sort of happening. Uh, there's a very uh, deep lull inside the community. A lot of people thought that we'd be getting an update this side of the release of Starfield, because Starfield is going to be taking a massive spotlight away from No Man's Sky. However, that said, it could be that, you know, Hello Games might go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They might release the expedition around the same time that Starfield launches, knowing full well that the players inside of this community want to unravel this arc that's happening. So perhaps, you know, they might go and see where the fan base truly lies. Who knows, people in the view of us, but there's a couple of bits of food of thought out there. I might do another poll. If we don't see an expedition happen, or hints that an expedition's about to pop by mid-August. I think I'll be putting out a poll whether, you know, you think that it might be coming in September time. Because I'm kind of on the fence of all of this right now, peeps. We've also got the meetup at the end of August too. I was really hoping that we would have had another expedition, something to talk about at the meetup, something new and, you know, exciting. But at the moment, we'd probably just be talking about No Man's Sky and the years that we've had for the last two years and then being a little bit sort of lacklustre since Origins, which won't make an interesting debate around the old tables at the meetup, will it, peeps? But at the same time, maybe it will. Who freaking knows, people? Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, I'm a little bit lost as to what to do content-wise for No Man's Sky. As you know, I'm hopefully going to be picking up um, Starfield in September, but also a Robocop in September as well. Uh, there were other games on the actual cards, but they've all been delayed. They've all been pushed back to first quarter of next year. I am hoping that Night Nightingale still drops of inside of the last quarter of this year. That's still on the table that that could happen. And if that does happen, that'd be coming over to PC and I'd be covering off Nightingale. Anyway, people, salute them Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. <laughs>